If you have a Shopify store and you want to start using Google Shopping Ads, then one of the first things you need to do is set up Google Merchant Center. And in order to do that, you need to verify your store, your website URL inside Google Merchant Center. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So this is a brand new demo Merchant Center account. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is head up to tools and settings and then go to business information. So you will need to add all your business information here, of course, this is just a demo, so I'm not gonna do that because that will just waste time. And then this is where you're going to put your website address. Now, this is a demo store, so I've just got it on the My Shopify domain, but obviously you will want to use here your full domain name that you have purchased that you're setting up your shop on. I would recommend that you just come to the website and you actually copy and paste to make sure that you get all the HTTPS at the beginning, like that, and then you just hit continue. So it's coming up as unverified and unclaimed. And we have a couple of options for verifying our domain in Google Merchant Center. You can verify using Google Analytics. If you already have analytics set up properly, properly on your Shopify store, you can try this one. It doesn't always work in my experience. It can be a bit glitchy. So I'm not going to use that one. The one I'm going to use is adding an HTML tag to the website. This, and they've actually put a note here, this seems to work, be the most, the easiest way of doing it and the most reliable. So you just click on adding the HTML tag and I'm going to add a tag. I'm not going to upload a file, I'm going to add a tag. So what we need to do now is install a little snippet of code into our website theme. So I'm going to walk, it's really simple, I'm going to walk you through step by step. We're going to come down where it says copy the HTML tag generated for your website. If you see at the end here, it's got a little double sheet symbol, which is copy to clipboard. So if you just click that, it will copy this correct code into your, um, into your browser. I'm going to head over to Shopify. We're going to go to online store. Okay. And then we're going to go up. So I've just got a default, as you can see, a default theme. I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, and we're going to go to actions and edit code. And don't panic about anything in here. It's quite simple if you just follow the instructions. You're going to find your theme liquid, theme.liquid file, and click on that. And what we need to do, if you notice in here, it says that it needs to be um, pasted on your site's homepage in the head section before the first body tag. That's what these little tags are here. So inside our Shopify store, you can see at the top here, can you see this line three? It's got the triangular brackets and then head. We're gonna look for the closing head one. So if you just go control F, you'll get a little search box coming up here and you just type in the little pointy brackets, forward slash head, in fact, that's, that's all you need to do. And as you can see, it's popped down here you can see it won't always be on line 129 because you may have themes and different settings. And so what we want to do, our piece of code needs to go directly above this closing head tag. So just stick your cursor at the beginning of that tag and just do a carriage return um, to create a space. And now we're just going to control V or command V, I think it is with a, uh, a Mac. And we're just going to paste that straight in there and then we're going to hit save and that's all saved now um it can take a while for this to kind of register if you go to your on demo store i'm going to refresh and then we can if we right click and go view page source what i like to do is i just jump in here and i just kind of copy a little bit of this gobbledygooky bit there copy a little bit of that and then go Control f in your source document paste that little gubbins bit there and then that will jump down to show you that you actually have that Google site verification in your um, coding on the website. So if we go over to Merchant Center now and come down to the bottom where it says verify website, hopefully, there we go, it says verified. So the only thing we have to do now is to hit claim website. So that means that nobody else can come along and try and claim or verify our website domain and that is all done. So all you need to do then obviously is to start setting up your shopping feed. But that is how you verify your store URL in Shopify. Don't forget if you like this video to hit the thumbs up, 
to let me know that I'm doing a good job. Subscribe and hit the bell icon and then you'll be notified when I publish a new video. And don't forget to share it with anybody that you think might be interested in this content.